almost done with your back. What's going on everybody? It's your favorite dating coach, Elliot Scott, and as you can see by the title below, we're going to talk about how to go from casual to committed. Now, if you haven't yet, please subscribe. Just click the red button below. I will love you forever, along with the bell notification. And if you actually want to get real insight on attraction and value and getting this guy crawling at your feet, Attraction Academy, my course, link down below, is going to go into a lot of detail. I'm just going to tell you kind of a three-step process um, to go through and where women usually get stuck, okay? So, jumping right into this, and this is going to sound like common sense, but I do want to jump into it, okay? I am a big believer, and I teach this in the course, like I said, and I'm not trying to just sell you on it, I'm just telling you. I, I teach this in the course. I have a video on it that's like 40 minutes long to talk about the, the foundation or the, the questions you should ask yourself about the guy in the situation to even see if he is uh, relationship ready, okay? I'm a big believer on, step one right here, that the foundation, right, or you could say picking the victim, right, the foundation that you guys have in the beginning uh, sets up 80%, 70 70% 70 of uh, the rest of the way if you're actually going to have a relationship with this guy, okay? So, questions I would ask, for example, is, is this guy emotionally available? Is this guy even looking for a relationship? Is it long distance? Did this guy get cheated on? Is this guy newly single? Wait, did I say that? Uh, uh, is this, uh, did you guys start off with friends with benefits? Did he even say he was looking for anything serious? Is he online talking to other women? You know, there's a lot of things you got to ask because every single one of these things creates a roadblock that prevents you from building attraction. And I always say attraction is like currency, okay? You got, the more you have, uh, the more you can make the guy do. You can literally make the guy jump through loops. Um, is it loops or hoops? If there's enough attraction. However, if you're in a situation where it started off as friends with benefits and you, as in you, you can transition from friends with benefits to a relationship, but you can't if you both agreed, um, hey, you know what, I kind of want this to be friends with benefits. I mean, you can, but it's very hard to the point where I say it's not even worth it. Uh, if, 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 you and the, if you and the guy go in in this, right, for example, as friends with benefits, you're saying, hey, I just want to be friends with benefits, and the guy lives an hour away, and he's talking to a bunch of girls on Tinder where he met you, then why the what usually happens is women have this there's a there's a conundrum now there's a contrast they go from okay I I, I like the guy and this that they, they justify they it's like okay I like the guy despite all these things going on in the situation where it's most likely not going to be a relationship but I'm gonna try it anyway because I like the guy and what a lot of women don't understand and this is on both sides both sexes is that just because you like a guy doesn't mean you should be in a relationship with him. Doesn't mean it's relationship material. But women think that's enough. We, you know, a lot of women they they buy based on emotions. You know, they're emotionally based, and I don't mean that as in they're emotional. They just make decisions um, less logically than men do. Okay, because a man's thinking now. And this is why I say that. You can say I'm wrong, but I'm going to justify why this is a. Uh, this is true. Not that men aren't emotional, because I know a lot of men who, who are little pussy ass bitches who chase girls and have a walk all over them, uh, you know, and take advantage of. I've seen it on both sides. But emotionally, women will say, okay, I like this guy, despite all this stuff, okay, so I'm going to pursue a relationship with him. Even though we're friends with benefits, he lives an hour away, he's talking to other women, he says he doesn't really want a relationship, but I think I can change him if, if I last long enough. Um, or if I see him long enough, he'll change his mind. And again, I've been in that situation. But a guy's thinking, okay, well, logically, why would I jump into a relationship with this girl? She lives an hour away. We're friends with benefits. We established that. Um, she knows I'm not really looking for anything else. Again, it's long distance. And I'm talking to other girls on Tinder who are closer. So he would actually be at a disadvantage dating you because right now he has this... You gave him the, you painted him the picture of, of opportunity, 
Okay, think of it like that. By you agreeing to all this, you painted the picture of I can have my cake and eat it too. It's very hard to convince a guy to steer away from that. That's what I mean by foundation, okay? That's what I mean by creating the right atmosphere or if this guy is the right victim. You created the oper or the picture of opportunity, the image of opportunity. Why would this guy jump into something, right, where it's actually going to be a liability now? Because if he jumps into a relationship with you, well, who he already has all these benefits with, he has to now sacrifice his resources. He has, to, which which is fine if I want a relationship and I want to date you. We're talking about a guy who's logically thinking long distance. Uh, I'm talking to other girls. We're already hooking up. She's We've been talking for three to six months. She's not going anywhere because she hasn't yet. There's no reason for him to think you're going anywhere. Okay? So it's very hard for a man to logically jump into something with you if he's already having his cake and eat it too. He just doesn't see it. He's going to call your bluff and, you know, and go take the chance that because you're emotionally based and that you have not left yet that you're going to stick around. Okay, and he's going to make excuses and paint it really pretty. So you justify, instead of qualify, he's going to say, hey, I like you, but listen, I'm just not in the, in the mindset of a relationship. But if I am, hey, you know I'll date you. Let's just see what happens. you got to go slow with me, okay? I just got out of one. He'll say all that shit, and you'll buy it. You'll buy it, okay? So the number one thing I say is, have a healthy foundation. If you don't know what that is, again, Attraction Academy, I talk about it. I have a quiz on there that says if this guy's emotion uh, is relationship ready. And I have a 40-minute video talking about like 25 different things that you need to look at to get this guy. Now, if you, uh, or if this guy's relationship ready. Now, if you have that, the right victim or the right foundation, all you have to do is get the guy to invest his resources into figuring out where you stand. That is literally all you have to do. I would say 60 to 70 percent of women fail on the first part, the foundation. They they're like, oh, I don't care. I like the guy. I'm going to go along with it, right? And then what they don't understand though is that there's a there's a snowball effect. It's like, okay, it's not a good foundation, and then you go along with it, trying to build attraction, but because you like the guy more than he likes you, or your outcome, what I what I call outcome based, and he's just going along with it, you're actually unable to negotiate. You like the guy so much that you fear losing him. So if you have the right foundation, the next thing you need to do is build mystery, okay? I'm not saying be a bitch, I'm not saying be cold, because if you do that, a guy's just gonna talk to somebody else. But you do have to understand how to give and take and how to lure a guy in. And women don't like me saying this because they're like, well, I don't have to change who I am. No, you don't, you're, you're right. I'm not asking you to change who you are. And oh, I don't like games. Okay, that's fine if you, you, you don't like games, but dating is a game. Any other dating coach will tell you that. Hussey will say that. Uh, Alex, MA2.0, um, thanks for the good review. He'll say that. It's all, he literally has courses called, that have to do with He has a course called Dark Game. You know why? Because it is, unfortunately. It is a game. Um, now, the problem with it is people play the game wrong. You should play the game win-win, not win-lose, not lose-win, because if you win and he loses, he's going to resent you. If you lose and he wins, he's going to take advantage of you. If it's lose-lose, no one wins. It has to be win-win, okay? So the way to do that is to actually have fun, hang out, go on the dates, and things like that, but don't let him know exactly where you stand 100%. If he goes 0 to 100, don't go 0 to 100. Go 0 to 60. Let him initiate. Respond when he initiates. But And you can initiate, but make sure he's always investing more. And make sure he's investing a shitload before you put out, if you decide to put out. You have to get your repetitions in with this guy, meaning you have to see the guy over and over and over and over again and follow the three things I said in a previous video. You need to make sure he respects you, you need to make sure he's consistent, and you need to make sure he's investing. If you do that long enough, then you go to stage three, which is the, the, negoti the negotiation, the ultimatum. You gave a guy a Netflix pa free, uh, free month pass, a, gym, a free gym membership for a month, and he's seeing the results, he's liking what's on Netflix, and he's like, okay, I'm really liking this. But there has to be a time you cut the guy off, okay? So 
you found a guy with a good foundation, you create a mystery, you're building attraction, attraction is currency, the more he puts in, or the more you get from him, uh, the more you build, the more he's willing to do. He likes it a lot, hopefully you get him addicted, desiring you. And then you're like, hey, commit or get the hell out. Okay, and, and if he does it, then you have to know the person with the strongest negotiation position is the one who is willing, who makes, a, makes their statement, what they want. If they do not get it, they walk away. It's the person who is Ill, willing to walk away and meet it. If you cannot do that, you will lose. But you should win this because if you did everything right in the foundation uh, part and you build attraction, easier said than done, yes, then you should get the guy uh, fucking... Uh, licking the bottom of your feet, okay? This guy should be able to eat. If you wanted him to eat ass, he should eat ass, okay? <laughs> we'll just say that. Uh, now, some guys are just willing to do that. But you need to have this guy crazy about you. And if you do the first two things correctly, especially the first one, he is more willing to commit. And if, again, if you want to know what those things are um, and, and, and the foundation, picking the right victim thing, then Attraction Academy, my course, will help you out with that. So with that being said, ladies, it's those three steps. Easier said than done. Absolutely. Um, it's one of those things where getting a six pack is easy. Everyone knows how to get a six pack. It's just actually doing it correctly. Um, so with that being said, ladies, I love you. Take care and peace.